So there's some general reactions of acids that you need to know. So general reactions of acids. Now, there are actually three that we're going to look at in this topic, but I'm going to give you a fourth one as well, which you're going to look at when you do redox chemistry. Uh, but I want to put all four up. The first three are the really ones that we need to know for this topic. Um, so we'll do general ones. So you should remember this from GCSE. So number one, if I start you off, acid plus base gives a salt plus water. And so an example of that would be acid, say hydrochloric acid, A base is normally a metal oxide, so I'm going to do use magnesium oxide for that one. What's my salt going to be called? Can you remember how I name a salt? I start the first part. Yeah. Fabulous. Magnesium. The first part of the name comes from the base. The second part of the name comes from the acid. Hydrochloric acid gives me chloride. So that gives me magnesium chloride plus water. Number two, very, very similar, is an acid plus alkali. Remember, an alkali is a soluble base. It again gives me a salt plus water. So now I'm going to use as my acid sulfuric acid. My alkaline this time, I'm going to use potassium hydroxide. So my salt, I'm going to start the first part from potassium. The second part of the name comes from the acid sulfuric acid, gives me sulfates. So potassium sulfate plus water. The third one that you need is acid plus metal carbonate. This one again gives me a salt and water, but I get an additional carbon dioxide as well. An example of that, let's use nitric acid this time. My metal carbonate, I'll go for, let's go for calcium carbonate. That's going to give me my salt. First part of the name comes from the carbonate, so it's calcium. Second part comes from the acid, so it's nitrate plus water, plus carbon dioxide. And the final, the fourth one, which isn't part of this topic, but we are, you're gonna do it when you do redox, is an acid plus a metal. And that gives me a salt plus hydrogen. So it's the only one that doesn't give me water. And let's do an example of that one. The acid, let's go back to hydrochloric acid. Plus magnesium. That's gonna give me the same salt. Magnesium chloride. But this time, I will also make hydrogen, like so. So it's really important that you know these four general reactions.